The T-90MS is the latest version of the Russian T-90 main battle tank. It is also referred as Tugil or Prorib. There are a number of improvements and improved operational capabilities carried out over the original T-90. This tank was first revealed in 2011 and being proposed for various export customers. In 2017 it has been reported that a contract was signed to deliver a large number of these tanks to an undisclosed country from the Middle East. Later T-90MS was found testing in Kuwait. India also approved procurement of 464 of these main battle tanks. If the deal comes through, these could be delivered within the next 3-4 years. The history of tank is found as the T-90 which is a third-generation Russian battle tank that entered service in 1993. The tank is a modern variation of the T-72B and incorporates many features found on the T-80U. Originally called the T-72BU, but later renamed to T-90, it is an advanced tank in service with Russian ground forces and the naval infantry. The T-90 uses a 125mm 2A46 smoothbore main gun, the 1A45 T fire control system, an upgraded engine, gunner's thermal sight. Standard protective measures include a blend of steel and composite armor, smoke grenade dischargers, contact 5 explosive reactive armor and the Stahura infrared 80 GM jamming system. It was designed and built by Eurovagon Zavid, in Nizhny Tagil, Russia. Since 2011, the Russian armed forces have ceased any further orders for the T-90, and are instead increasing their numbers of the T-14 Armada that began production in 2016. Variant of T-90MS include T-90M, which is a proposed upgrade of the Russian Army's T-90 tanks. The T-90M uses a number of similar components as the T-90MS. It was first publicly revealed in 2017. Deliveries might begin in 2018. The T-90MS Tegil MBT has a new welded turret with a turret bustle. However the turret bustle is used only as external storage for ammunition, and is not accessible from the inside. This combat machine has new composite armor as well as built-in relic explosive reactive armor ERA, in place of the previous Contact 5. It provides protection against tandem warheads and reduces penetration of APFSDS rounds by over 50%. The Tagil is fitted with rubber side skirts with built-in armor. There is also a countermeasures system, which triggers smoke grenade dischargers once the tank is being illuminated by a laser beam. This system significantly reduces the chance of being hit by enemy anti-tank guided weapons with semi-automatic guidance. As usually this tank is fitted with both NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Interior of the tank is lined with spool liner. The T-90MS is armed with new 125mm high-accuracy smoothbore gun, the 2A46M5. This gun has longer range than the previous 2A46M gun of the baseline T-90. It fires APFSDS, high explosive and HE frag rounds. The Tegil also fires 9M119 reflex anti-tank guided missiles, NATO designation AT-11 Sniper B, in the same manner as ordinary munitions. These missiles have a range of 4 to 5 kilometers and can also engage low-flying helicopters. A total of 40 rounds are carried for the main gun. The T-90MS uses a proven carousel-type autoloader. As with its predecessor 22 rounds are stored in the autoloader and are ready to use. However remaining rounds are stored in a new turret bustle rather than a crew compartment in order to avoid risks of explosion. A remote weapon system is mounted on the right side on the top of the turret which is armed with a 7.62mm machine gun. The automatic machine gun of the turret is designed to destruct stationary and moving targets. The machine gun mount with two axes stabilization enables the tank commander to deliver effective fire from his station inside the vehicle at a halt and on the move independently of the main armament. 
The remote weapon station is equipped with panoramic sight, controlled from the commander's station which can fire at a maximum range of 1,500 meters, with elevation from minus 10 degrees to plus 45 degrees on 316 degrees rotation. Six smoke grenade dischargers are mounted to each side of the turret. The T-90MS DeGille has Nuka line of fire control system and updated observation and aiming devices. This Russian tank has a hunter-killer engagement capability. Tank commander uses a panoramic sight with thermal vision to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Furthermore target acquisition system tracks selected targets automatically. It is claimed that the new tank is 15 to 20 percent more accurate than its predecessor. This main battle tank has a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver. The T-90 MS Tegil is powered by a new V92S2F turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1130 horsepower. Engine is coupled with an automatic transmission with seven forward and one reverse gear. It is a milestone in the Russian tank development, as all previous Russian tanks were fitted with manual transmissions. The new tank also has improved suspension and drivetrain. Maximum road speed of this tank is 72 km per hour which is far better than its predecessor. The Tugil is also fitted with auxiliary power unit, which powers all systems when the main engine is turned off. This combat vehicle is fitted with a deep waiting kit that can be installed by tank crew within 20 minutes. With a deep waiting kit attached it can pour water obstacles up to 5 meters deep. The tank is also fitted with a self-entrenching blade and can prepare itself an emplacement within 12 to 40 minutes, depending on the ground type. The T-90MS has an automated single control system, an automatic target tracking system, and satellite navigation via GLONASS GPS. To improve the tank's offensive capabilities, the T-90MS is equipped with a line of fire control system which incorporates gunner's multi-channel sight, commander's panoramic sight, digital ballistic computer, with a set of weather and fire condition sensors, and parallel sight is the backbone of the tank firepower. According to some Russian sources the Kalina is equal to the best foreign systems of this type. The Kalina fire control system can be implemented automatically track the target at any time in the stationary and moving long distances against the effective strength of the threat of tanks and anti-tank missile fleet. The gunner station is equipped with latest generation of sight with video viewing device with automatic fire control system and loader. The commander's station is equipped with video viewing device with electronic GPS combat map. The self-protection of T-90MS includes also an automatic screening system which can create an automatic aerosol screen laying in the direction of enemies anti-tank means with active laser emission. While retaining a low silhouette, optimal weight, high mobility and capability to cross the most difficult obstacles at high speed and stride, which are traditional for Russian tanks, the T-90MS has acquired a contemporary level of protection and survivability.